Hello my fellow individuals, I am Mr. Mini Mask Man here, and today I'm going to react to the new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Now, in the beginning when they announced, oh, before I say anything, please um check the original link down in the description before you watch this reaction. So, you know, check that out first and then, you know, watch this. But anyways, uh, where was, where was I? Okay. So, um, in this, um... This is uh, this news for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Originally, I guess where people were uh, when they when they announced the news at the very beginning, people were wondering like, "Oh, are they going to combine all six regions into one game?" We wish, <laughs> but um, no. I think from what I'm hearing, this game is just, is seventh gen already. They're already doing seventh generation, and I'm like, "Oh, that was pretty quick," you know. It, it's um, I mean X and Y. Um, somebody remind me when that came out. It only came, and it came out that long ago, actually, just a couple years, and then boom, we get a new one right now. So that's. I mean, I'm I'm excited for it. Like I'll be honest, I am. I love Pokemon. I've played. I started with um, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal when I was young. When I was a kid, that was the Pokemon uh, games that I started with. I didn't. I didn't start with red, blue, and yellow because I didn't have an original Game Boy. I had a Game Boy Color, but not a Game Boy. So I never got to experience the realness of the original trilogy. I played Fire, Red, and Leaf Green. Um, I played, you know, uh, Emerald. And I'm actually... I'm actually playing Platinum. Pokemon Platinum. Because um, I haven't played that one or the 5th gen. Um, Pokemon Black or White, whichever one. But, um, because, again, I don't have a Nintendo DS, so, again, I never get, had to experience or play those other, uh, games from there. Now, and yeah, I know, I should get a DS, right? <laughs> I want to, too, but, you know, money-wise, I'm kind of investing on something else, maybe eventually, but for now, I'm playing that through an emulator on my phone, just so I can experience to see what's up with the other gens that I've missed. But overall, I love Pokemon. I always loved the 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 series a bit when I obviously when I was a kid, and the games. I love the games. It's one of the only few, maybe the only turn-based strategy games that I like. And I don't know I love Pokemon. I actually can't wait uh, for this one to see how this goes, or what's who are the new Pokemon, the new starters, etc. But I am hoping pretty soon I do get a 3DS to play the new gen and keep up. With the Pokemon games, and sadly, you know, as much of a big Pokemon fan, Pokemon fan that I am, I'm still not to that extent where people keep up. They buy the new, the new handheld console, they get the game, they wait for the next gen, get the game, next gen on a new um, handheld console, they buy the new handheld console to play that game. Me, <coughs> the only latest or most modern console that I own is a Nintendo Wii. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't been keeping up with modern games. I'm still stuck in the retro games. I, just, I actually want to keep playing retro games. The, for me, those are my personal favorites compared to modern games. But that's a whole other discussion. But you know what? Um, I'll keep talking more later on. Let me, let's just get on with the reaction. No Pikachu. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Oh. Alright, so there's your starters. I actually like the fire type. Grass and flying. Okay. Litten. Pure fire. Okay. Puplio. It's like a seal. It's like a dog and a seal. Interesting. Okay, let's check out the region. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, that's the legendary? Oh, dude, they look sick. November 18th, alright. Nice. Okay, it's pretty awesome. Now, yeah, the legendaries, the legendaries, this one looked pretty awesome. I don't know the names, or they gave the names here, but yeah, okay, yeah, I can, I can go with it. Um, if I had the handheld console, but if I had it. Yeah, this that looks pretty nice. I really like it. I think this is gonna be a pretty good one. I haven't played X and Y, or I seen some clips, but I never played X and Y to see if there's a big difference in comparison. But yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Um, let's see. I don't know where to start. Let's see the uh, the starters in this one. Okay, the starter Pokemon. I like the. I actually in social media before I watched this reaction, I saw um, crap. I just forgot his name. I'm sorry. The grass flying type, the little owl. They're like already making memes of that owl already. It's like damn, that was quick. <laughs> so I I can see probably this one. Um, this will be one of the few I guess gens that people will prefer grass type more. Because it's a mix of grass and flying. So I thought that was an interesting combination of those types. So I think this one will be evenly matched with the grass. I know a lot of people, are, I think I'm, what I'm seeing, the fire type is going to be the big one. And this one, the fire starter. So that would be pretty cool. Um, and then the water one, let's, I think out of the three, I think the water one is the people least. I mean, it'll be evenly matched where people, you know, choose which starter. But I think the water one is like probably the least that people will look more. I think the first one's like the fire type, the second one will be the grass, and then the third, the, the water type starter Pokemon. So, but we still haven't seen their final evolution, which determines, which actually determines um, which starter they would choose. Yeah, obviously, if they already know, so they can, people kind of like how cool, badass they look, or their, um, their moves, how strong their stats are, etc. But if I was to choose, hmm... Almost always, just so that you know, I always choose water types. Always choose water types. No matter if it's the least, like, for example, third gen, I picked Mudkip. Um, in the Platinum one, I picked the uh, Piplup. And then I haven't played fifth gen yet, or six, so I can't, you know. But, and then when I played uh, Fire Red, I chose Squirtle. So, yeah, I'm always, a, I always start with water. Water type Pokemon, no matter what. That's always my thing, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, huh. But in this case, I don't know. I, like, as it progresses, I don't know if I should just keep a water or just actually go with something that I prefer, that I actually like. I don't know why, I always think water's the safest to start with starters, and then you can get your actual types throughout the game through catching the other Pokemon. So, I think that's pretty interesting there, um, or at least that's what I do. Uh, let's see, the region in this one, I don't know the name, I don't know if they showed the name, but the region looks really cool. It's like, mix of uh, city and island, which I think almost all regions are, but, well not all of them, but um, I don't think Kanto was like that until you went to the other islands. Uh, Johto, and there's always islands actually, now that I think, but there's always islands in, in the regions, and all the other regions, depending on which game you play, but, but I don't know, this will look really nice, um, moving your character... Not it's not um what's it called bird view when you move um like I said I haven't played X and Y so I can't really say if they changed or not on that they probably did but it probably looks like that but I don't know this one looks like a really big one like a big world or region and yeah so I mean this one looks really nice and the legendary Pokemon in this one and at least the two the two main ones that they reveal they actually look pretty cool. I don't care. Usually when there's legendaries like on each gen, like, um, well, I would say starting from gen 2, because gen 1 was like a shoot. They, they show the starter Pokemon as the two, um, 
you know, either the starting Pokemons are fine, like, uh, if it's Fire Red and Leaf Green, it's, like, Venusaur and Charizard, or if it's the original, like, Blue and Red, it's Blastoise and Charizard, but from second gen and beyond, they started displaying the legendary Pokemon. Like, Gold and Silver was, you know, ho Lugia, and then Crystal, uh, always the third one in there, the Suicune. And then, you know, the third one was uh, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. And then I believe in Platinum was uh, Garantina, Palkia, and Dialga. And so forth. So, I think this, these legendaries, I, like, when I see those, I kind of prefer, I already know which legendary I want between the two. So was, or three. So I just go play with that, that game version so I can get that legendary. Or because I just love the legendary cover of that Pokemon. That's like, that's my preferred legendary. This one, actually, I don't care which, either one is good. I like either, I like both of them. So if I was, if I was ever to have this game, I'd be satisfied with either Sun or Moon, to be honest. Like, I was more leaning towards Moon when I heard the announcement, because, I don't know, just Moon sounded awesome. Everybody, almost everyone, you know, is kind of like, ooh, the darkness of Moon, and stuff like that where they choose. But, um... This one, I don't care. I honestly, if I was to have this game, I would be happy with either one. I, don't, I honestly don't know which one I would pick. The legendary on the sun cover is like a, looks like some really mystic lion. I don't know if it's like a fire electric type or, I had to, I had to rewatch it again. But, and then the other one's like a, I think it's like a bat, but like, it looks like a bat, but with like bigger wings, like expanded and all that, and I think it's like dark and flying, or something like that, or psychic. Maybe, I don't know. I, we don't, I don't know the types. I don't know if they reveal the types yet for these Pokemon. But, yeah, I mean, either, I think the legendaries look badass in this one already. I'm like, okay. Because, like, from each gen, or at least from the legendaries, or the other Pokemon in general that I observed, um... Obviously, I always have a soft spot for Gen 1. Almost everybody does. But, you know, I, was, I, we, I grew up with Gen 1. And Gen 1 and Gen 2 were, like, my top favorites when I was growing up. And I slowly stopped, stopped watching Pokemon around Gen 3. I was in the Yu-Gi-Oh! phase. Um, and then, let's say, yeah, I stopped from Gen 3. And I didn't really pay attention until later, like, many years later. When I got back to Pokemon... And then I was like, oh, I think his bio is already like Gen 5 around that time when I was uh, when I went back to Pokemon again, playing the games and seeing all these new Pokemon. I'm like, oh, wow, I got to I really got to catch up. But um, and I still do. I'm, I'm barely catching up. I want to see if I can. I have platinum and I think the black version on my phone. So I'm going to try to play those two at least to catch up until I get a 3DS to play um, X and Y or either one. And um, and then sooner or later sun and moon so oh man so good <laughs> pokemon never lets it's one of those games pokemon is just one of those games where technically it's almost like the same format you know what to do but they always do different you know different region different storylines um new added things they did like in x and y like the mega stones the mega evolutions so I don't know how this one would be, be, but so far it looks very promising already. So I think this one's going to be really good. I mean, all Pokemon are personally, but I think this one's going to be really good already. I'm just surprised that they already got this running. They already knew what they're doing with this one. Immediately after X and Y, it was like, it gave it a year or two, and then boom, this one. They announced this one. I'm like, already oh, it's starting with 7th Gen. So, whew. <laughs> Um, yeah, shoot. God, I, I want this game now, and I'm kind of forcing myself, like, I'm trying not to get a 3DS just yet, because I have other expenses to, to um, partake, but I, it's making me want to get a 3DS, like, now. Like, you know, next money, buy a 3DS, wait for November, or play X and Y, and then November, get ready for that one. So, uh but for now, sadly, I will be behind this. I would just have to watch my friends play the game. Or why go to YouTube and watch the gameplays and all that. But I want to be part of this action. I'm slowly getting back into Pokemon, the games at least. I mean, I always love Pokemon, but getting back into the games again and catching up. So, yeah, man. Um, Or guys, or gals, I don't know, who's watching. 
But yeah, this one's pretty awesome. I know I keep repeating myself again. This is nice. This is awesome. But it's the truth. It's the truth. So, yeah. Um, I know there's any other things I can think of. Well, actually, I am waiting. There is one that I am stoked for, which is Pokemon uh, Go. Which I, I don't know if they're going to release it this summer or not. But I know the beta is already out in Japan. I mean, that's another discussion. But I can't wait to play that one. It's, it's like Ingress. If people have played Ingress, it kind of gives me a good reason to go out again, walk. It's good for my health, and I'm playing a game, so why not, right? <laughs> so yeah, I can't. I'm waiting for Pokemon Go. Actually, at least that's the thing that I can do for now. I know it's completely different format than the actual games, but yeah, I'm waiting for Pokemon Go. In the meantime, and then hopefully I can jump back into to to these to those games again. So yeah, but um. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait how this plays out. I want to see what the new Pokemon are, the other legendaries, how the, the final evolution of each starter are. I think the fire type's going to be pretty badass. It's going to be like a, I don't know, like a dark fire. I, I'm hoping it becomes like a dark fire type at the end, but we I mean, never know. So, but yeah, anyways, um, I think that's pretty much all I can think of to discuss. I don't want to keep blabbering on, so... If you made it this far, um, thanks for watching this video, and if you like the video, you know what to do. So, yeah, I mean, I can't wait, I, I can't wait for this game to come out. I'm hoping I get to play it pretty soon and catch up with all you fellow Pokemon players out there. So anyways, um, I'm gonna, yeah, cut the video now, so I will see y'all next day i guess or some other day i don't know i'll see y'all whenever when whatever video you see next or upload so take care y'all and have a nice day